Hello world, this is Siraj. Welcome to this Mac Techs. In our last video, we have discussed how we can update, backup, reset and restore Aranium point of sale system. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can import, export, add, edit and delete customers and suppliers. So, let's get started. First of all, I would like to change the color scheme of this Aeronium point of sale system. So I like to go to this menu and here we have settings. Once we get the settings, here we have the basic setting. In this basic setting, here we have the color scheme. I would like to change this dark into light. I'm going to save here. And now we got the light color. Okay. Now let's begin our chapter. Here we are going to discuss the customers and supply customers and suppliers is in menu and we can go to the management once you click this management you will get this typical management window and here we have customers and suppliers in our point of sale system one entity can be used for both purposes as customers or suppliers flex customers and suppliers are used if we need separate these companies or persons and here I have added uh, two customers in my quick setup video. If you want to refer further, you can refer the video. And here we have uh, export and import. First, I would like to import customers and suppliers data from CSV file. Before that, we'll have a look on the CSV file, how we have customized there. I'm going to minimize here. Here I have a folder in my desktop customers. I'm going to open this folder. And in this folder, we have the file customers. I'm going to open this customers CSV file. In this file, here we have name, code, text number, address, zip code, okay, and city, okay, and other details we have, country, email, phone number and here we have the major columns we want to customize here we have is enable if we want to enable a particular customers we can enable here to enable you can type number one if you want to disable this particular customers or vendor you can disable this customers by typing zero okay here we have is customer in Aeronium point of sale system, as I said earlier, you can treat a person as customers and suppliers. If you want to make this particular person as supplier, you can type number zero. If you want to make this particular company or person as customer, you can type number one. Here altogether, I have uh, four customers and one supplier. Okay, so here how you can uh, differentiate these customers and suppliers here 0 and 1 okay I'm going to close this file and now let's see how we can import this file into Aeronium point of sale system okay. and here we have import button I'm going to click on this import button once you click this import button you will get the typical import customers uh, window okay so the steps are exactly same how we have imported the product details in our previous video here we have to select the file I'm going to click on the select file and you have to point out where you have the file here I have the file in my desktop and customers folder I'm going to select this file here customers CSV file I'm going to click open here we have fields which are going to be imported to the customers and suppliers module Okay. and here we have import button I'm going to click on this import button before that we can have a preview how we are going to have our customers and suppliers once I click this preview here we can see all the data here okay, you can see all of the data here and these are the uh, customers and suppliers data is going to be imported and here you can see this is a supply and all of the other records are customers We'll click import to import all of these 
data into the Aronium Point of Sale system. Here we can get the message, customer is imported successfully, done. Okay, now we can close this dialog box. Here we have uh, no changes, only the existing customers and suppliers are here. What you want to do, you can click on this refresh button to get all of these imported data. Okay, that's quite nice. And now let's see how to export all of these customers and suppliers. Here we have export button. You can click export and we can give the file name. And I'm going to give the file name as customers 18721. Okay, I'm going to click save to save all these customers and data. Here we have customers exported successfully. Okay, and we'll minimize and here you can see the file customers with the date. Okay, like that we can have a CSV file separately and we can maintain for your other purposes. We'll come back to the Aronium. Here we have add button. You can click this add button to add new customer or supplier. You can fill out all of these fields and here we have customer. If you are going to make this particular entity as customer, you can leave as it is. That is a default setting. If you are going to turn this entity into supplier, you can click like this. Okay, now this particular entity will be treated as supplier. And if you want to make this particular entity as customer, you can turn like this. And if you want to deactivate or if you want to disable this particular customer, you can turn off like this. And this particular customer will not be appeared when you are going to make sales. Okay, and if you are making this particular customers as supplier, this particular supplier will not be appeared when you are going to make purchase. Okay, that is the key things that we want to understand in this general tab. And I'm going to fill all of these uh, customers information. Okay, that's fine. Now let's move to the next step, discounts. We can give discount to a group of products or a list of products or specific product. Here we have product groups. If you want to refer further on this uh, product groups, you can refer my previous video. Here we have Apple laptop groups. If I want to uh, view all of the products comes under this Apple laptops, I can click plus and I can see all of the products comes under this Apple laptop. Okay. And if I want to give 5% discount to all of this Apple laptop group of products to this particular customer, what I can do, I can select this group and I can click this arrow and that will come to this column. And here we can set the percentage that we are going to give the discount and we'll give 10 percentage. And here I'm going to click on this uh, keyboard and this keyboard I can select a particular product and I can send this product to the uh, discount column and I can give a 5% discount. Okay, And like that I can give a different group of uh, products and here we have power bank groups and here we have all of these uh, power banks uh, products and we'll give this power bank and we'll click on this arrow and I'm going to give 8% uh, discount to this power bank. Like that we can uh, add product or we can add group to give discounts to this particular customers. When you're going to make sales, automatically uh, this particular products will be taken with this particular discount. You don't want to change there. Okay, that's fine. Now we'll move to the next step, loyalty cards. Here we can add number to add your customers as loyal customers. I'm going to give a sample number. I'm going to give add cards to add this particular customers as loyal customers. In our upcoming videos, let's see how we can utilize these loyal cards numbers and are going to make promotions and actions. Okay, that's fine. Now we'll move to the next step, payment terms. We can give certain number of days to pay the bills. Here I'm going to give 30 days. So uh, the customer can take uh, 30 days to pay their bills. Okay, that's fine. Now we'll click save button to save all of this information. Now you can see new customer successfully created. If you want to edit this customer, you can select this customer here you can click here, edit, and you can edit the details here. For example, if I want to edit this particular discount or delete this particular discount, I can click delete to delete this discount. I'm going to save here, okay, done. If you want to delete a customer, you can select the customer that you want to delete, then you can click delete button, then you can click yes, 
to delete the customer's detail permanently. Here we have search customers in subplace. You can type a keyword to search a particular person's or customers or subplace detail. That's all I want to discuss in this video. Hope you all have enjoyed this video. If you love this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel, click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the ring bell. Then you will be get notified to my brand new videos. Thank you very much guys. We'll meet in the next video. Bye.